Turn the lights back on. Wow. Retro Electro Tech. When real audio ruled the world. world. Greetings once again, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ernest with Retro Electro Tech, and it is one hot and humid day here in Maine, at least the part that I am in. And uh, But anyways, before I pan on over to the bench to check out a piece of equipment, I want to ask some technicians, audio heads, audio files, whatever, a very serious question. Do you ever feel as though you are being surrounded by vintage audio equipment? If so, you and I are not alone, and help is available if you suffer from Paranoid, Paranoid Technician, Technician Syndrome. Syndrome. Call the Paranoid Technician hotline today before it's too late. Professionals are standing by. Okay, so what I have here um, on the bench today is a B&K AV5000 um, Series 2 multi-channel power amp from around the mid-90s or thereabouts. Now, um, this amp came to me with a complaint concerning this um, number 4 pot that I'm going to switch on over to real quick. Okay, so I'm just going to hold this steady while I um, work around the camera. So, uh, number four here of these um, input level controls is, uh, according to the customer, exhibiting some intermittent behavior and I think some signal loss and noise as well. So that's going to need to be evaluated, of course. Now, let me switch views. So I'll be extracting this board here, as well as a smaller board beneath it, of which the uh, potentiometers are soldered to. Once I do that, I'll be able to evaluate the uh, health of the pots and determine uh, whether or not there's any um, issues as far as uh, you know defect or whether or not they're just dirty, particularly number four, since the uh, customer feels that there's an issue with that pot. But first things first, I always start with popping the hood and performing an initial inspection, looking for obvious issues as well as less than obvious issues, and just anything that raises a red flag which is a good idea before a safe power up and function test. I've mentioned this before, but ultimately it's the technician's job to assure that um, he or she is not going to let out any smoke and uh, perhaps even cause damage to himself, herself, the equipment, that um, you know, device under test, whatever the case. So that's about it. Let's move on. So um, as part of the inspection process that I mentioned, I wanted to have access to this uh, PCB here and in doing so I had to remove this plastic shielding which um, in turn prevents contact with this PCB and the terminals of these um, four um, 15,000 mic 75 volt caps so ultimately um, I wanted to inspect solder joints uh, briefly and just check out these traces and on the other side of the, of the board there's um, you know wires terminating um, to this board as well as you know there's obviously uh, components on the other side of this board that I wanted to just look over and just uh, and just make sure that everything you know again was looking looking all right so moving on okay during my inspection process I also uncovered another issue that I'm going to point out and um, to make things a little bit easier and you know with consideration to the fact that this camera is right in my mug I'm going to reach around with my little grabber here and to demonstrate what's going on. This is a power switch, by the way, and um, you can see how super loosey-goosey this connector is. It's practically falling off, and um, this connector here is also loose, not as bad as this top one here, but again, um, two and two is four, okay? Uh, if you have connections this bad on a power switch, then um, you know it certainly is not unheard of for things to be cutting in and out, and um, you know, the customer did mention that um, you know he was experiencing some uh, loss of signal. I believe he used the word um, you know cutting out. So this can certainly be a contributing factor. Now these these connectors here, these uh, you know spade connectors, I'm not a fan of them. Um, I I don't you know I just feel in terms of bomb-proof connections that these just need to be out of here. These wires need to be uh, soldered properly to the. Uh, the terminals here. I'll bring some heat shrink tubing uh, over the uh, solder joints and just um, resolve everything, solidify everything, and um, yeah, just improve things. That's the name of the game. Okay, so here we have another issue or potential um, 
weak link in the connection chain. Let me go ahead and reach around the camera and pull these wires aside. Now this um, terminal block, which consists of uh, spade terminals and connectors, shows a light um, whitish coating of oxidation throughout, which is an indicator to me of the overall connection health, not only of this block here, but perhaps throughout this amp. So um, when you're in inspection mode, you're obviously also in troubleshooting mode, of course. And the name of the game is to eliminate as many variables as possible. And, uh, you know, that can be contributing factors to the, um, you know, overall uh, bug population, if you will, within a piece of equipment. Now, it goes without saying that um, clean, bomb-proof connections are crucial. So there's really no need for a lengthy discourse on that topic. Um, at the very least, these terminals should be properly cleaned. The uh, connectors here should be inspected and cleaned as well. The integrity of the connector should be checked. Make sure that everything is mounting on these um, terminals nice and tight. Now, in a um, perfect world, a um, you know utopia of uh, you know clean and bomb-proof connections, I would like to see these conductors properly soldered to these terminals. Yes, it would be more work if you had to um, you know disconnect the. Um, you know, and pull the uh, transformer. These wires here all originate from the transformer. But again, a little bit more work sometimes is necessary to achieve, um, you know, in this case, uh, quality connections that you'll probably never have any problems with if, um, you know, everything is uh, soldered properly and so forth. So anyways, moving on from that. Okay, in closing, I just want to point out briefly uh, on the topic of, um, you know, clean bomb-proof connections. Obviously, I'm not a big fan of, uh, you know, more, um, you know, connectors than there really needs to be, especially um, connecting critical, um, you know, uh, sections of the uh, amp here, um, you know, power supply and, um, you know, connecting all this wiring here to the, um, you know, amp sections here. You know, these connectors here should be, at the very least, uh, opened up and, uh, assessed in terms of integrity and make sure that all of these uh, sockets and pins are are you know very clean um, in other words they should be cleaned out and these may very well be quality connectors you know good quality metal and uh, plating and all that if they are uh, plated but um, I worked on an amp uh, recently it was a tube amp that um, had um, uh, connectors mounted to the uh, main PCB and um, I was advised by the manufacturer to yank them. They were having some issues with them uh, with uh, connectivity and as a matter of course when um, these amps were coming in they were removing them and soldering straight to the board. And uh, But anyways, that may not be the case here. I'm not saying that there's a problem with these uh, connectors. It's just that um, they are potential weak links in the chain and at the very least should be assessed and again cleaned and so forth. So I just wanted to point that out and um, you know, it's my job to do so. The customer may not want to um, you know, have me do all this work. It is extra time, extra money. Um, I'm going to assess his uh, uh, primary complaint or chief complaint uh, involving the uh, number four pot to see if there is an issue there and if it is affecting the, um, the, the signal there. So anyways, um, again, I just wanted to point this stuff out. This is sort of a customer update video, obviously. And for those of you that are into following this stuff, um, then hopefully you get something out of it as well as far as my process and going through and, and uh, inspecting everything and, and assessing everything and formulating a uh, plan of attack, if you will. So anyways, um, as I always say, um, you guys take care of yourself. Peace, love, rock and roll, and of course, vintage audio. This is a poor man's shoe production.